I'm going to show you how I hand stripped Millie and how I got all of this hair off her ears and her legs. I'll start with her ears and basically what I do is I kind of work in sections so I'll just brush kind of part of it and I'll just work my way down so in sections just brushing through and I'm just using a wide comb so once I brush her ears through I'll get a finer comb and I'll just see if there's any more kind of knots in there that I can get out. So once I've brushed through and detangled the hair, I'll get a wider tooth comb with an elastic band woven through it. And I use this to start stripping some of the hair. Now with this, you definitely need to hold kind of the ear or the skin kind of taut so that they don't really feel anything. Again, short strokes. And this really starts to pull out a lot of the hair that's just loose. Um, so again, you can work in sections. So kind of from the back of the ear and it just pulls through like you can see I've already got quite a bit of hair and I've only brushed through a few times Millie is a bit more relaxed now and what I'm going to do is start working on the inside of her ear and just hand stripping it with this tool um go okay, what is it Classic heels. So with this tool, what you want to do is comb through a little bit and then you almost grab the hair with your thumb and just start stripping through gently. One thing I'd say about this um, hand stripping tool, it doesn't need to glide against the skin. It is literally just grabbing the loose hair on the surface and you're just getting it with your thumb, the end of it with your thumb, and then it just comes out so easily. It shouldn't be difficult to get this hair out. So I'm done with the inside of her ear and this is what I've managed to get from the inside of her ear and then what I'm going to do is just run through the outside of her ear with the hand stripping tool and just get a bit more of the hair out. So again that's literally a few brush strokes. What I'm going to do with this hand stripping tool is just do a bit of hand stripping around her leg. So in this area there's a bit of lighter hair which almost has a bit of a frizzier texture so to me that indicates that it's ready to be hand stripped now there's not a lot of it but what i'll do so same as what i did with her ears is just try and grab the hair and just pull with short brush strokes girl. and then again just hold that skin taut clever girl and i find that with tools like the groomy tool you can't really get these kind of bony areas so that's why I end up just using this brush. Good girl. Then with the back legs, just a tiny bit of hair that needs hand stripping. Good girl. Okay, really settled. My clever girl. So now that I've done this side, so I've done the ear and both her legs, I'll just flip her over at your own leisure and we'll do the other side. So that's how much I've just got off this ear. So now that I've hand stripped around her legs and her ears, I'll just go back to using this wide tooth comb and I'll just go oh, I'll just go across her body. So Millie has quite long hair. Just up here, the rest of her hair is relatively short, I'd say, but it does molt. What I did end up doing was I bought this from B&Q. It looks a bit ridiculous. The idea around buying this was that when I was watching videos on hand stripping, a lot of people use these little finger gloves to get a grip of the hair. And basically I just couldn't be bothered buying finger gloves and I thought this would work just as well which it does because of the rubber it grips the hair quite nicely um so yeah I just work my way through and there's not much to take off her her body I would say Good girl. but you can see as I go through loads of hair comes out Girl, it's okay, my girl. So with this glove, again, you can use this kind of around the ears as well. So same as what I was doing with that um, small um, hand stripping tool. 
you can literally just hold the skin and literally just some gentle pulls and all the hair comes out. Um, good girl. So Millie's fast asleep now. Um, I've probably been hand stripping her for about half an hour. So I'm going to leave her alone now. I'll put her in a crate for a nap. And then tomorrow I'll just do a bit of work on her paws and on her tail and then the back of her legs, like the feathers. Um, and I'll use scissors and clippers for the underside of her paws.